Welcome, dear friends, and thank you for allowing Jesus to speak to you through this medium. I am Father James. If you are just visiting this channel for the first time, I warmly welcome you. And if you are returning back, wow, thank you. You will never regret it. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are happy to. And may God bless you as you watch and listen. Now let us reflect on the gospel reading of the 20th Sunday of the year, cycle A, Matthew chapter 15 from verse 21 to 28. Friends, did you know that in the gospel only two people are commended as having great faith? One of them is in the gospel of Matthew chapter 10 from verse 5 to 10. As Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him seeking for help for his servant who was at home paralyzed and in great pain. Then Jesus said to him, Shall I come and heal him? But the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell you, I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. Now, when Jesus heard these words from the centurion, he was amazed, and he praised his faith. He says, truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. The second person is the Canaanite woman in our gospel reading today in Matthew chapter 15 from verse 21 to 28. As Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, a Canaanite woman whose daughter was possessed by demon approached Jesus, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is possessed by a demon and she is in pain. Now, at first, Jesus did not answer a word. The disciples of Jesus, who were supposed to be agents of intercession, came to Jesus and urged him to send this woman away because her cry was a disturbance to them. But the woman did not stop crying. Rather, she came and knelt before Jesus and prayed, Lord, help me. Friends, those who kneel before God does not struggle to stand before men. I say it again, those who kneel before God does not struggle at all to stand before men. Let our knees be our great weapon. To make matters worse though, Jesus' first reply seemed not to be what she was expecting. It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs, Jesus said. But listen, when our faith goes beyond and before our ego, our response to life is always in the positive. Yes, it is, Lord, the woman said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fell from their master's table. Wow, what a response. At this moment, Jesus saw in the woman something spectacular, a faith that is pure and deserving of God's great attention. And Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. Friends, what is even more impressive is that both the centurion and the Canaanite woman were Gentiles. People who would have been considered outsiders and therefore unclean by Jewish standards. Because she was a woman, as well as a Canaanite. This desperate mother had very, two very negatives against her. But that did not stop her. Out of love for her daughter and with faith in Jesus' power to heal, this woman did not let these handicaps, these obstacles get in the way. She began by addressing Jesus in Jewish terms of faith, Lord and Son of David. When Jesus made no reply at first, she persisted and asked once more for his help. Receiving yet another rebuff, 
she cleverly and humbly acknowledged Jesus' words, but boldly pointed out that even she, an alien to the Jewish covenant, could benefit from Jesus' ministry to the Jews. Finally, Jesus commended her for the greatness of her faith and healed her daughter. Friends, there are two keys, two key aspects to the great faith of this woman. First, she was humble, and second, she was persistent. She readily paid Jesus homage, which a Gentile woman would not have considered necessary. And she was quick to acknowledge her lowly position as a non-Jew in God's plan of salvation. As for her persistence, this woman was not put off by Jesus' silence, by the rebukes of the disciples, or even by Jesus' initial response. Instead, these obstacles made her draw all the more closer to Jesus and intensified the earnestness of her request. Dear friends, if you have a need that calls for intercession, let this woman's humility and persistence teach you how to approach Jesus. You do not have to worry about how you can best grow in these two virtues. Every day, we face challenges and trials that give us plenty opportunities to learn their ways. If we just keep our eyes open and our hearts pure, we will become humble and we will end up persistent. Then, we shall see how Jesus is always with us and strengthening our faith and hearing our prayers. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, your care extends beyond boundaries of race and nation to the heart of all who live. We want to draw ever more closer to you. Teach us always to approach you with humble and persistent faith. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Thank you, dear friends, for allowing Jesus to speak to you through me. I hope you are filled. Listen, you are precious in the eyes of God. Go then and spread the message. God bless you.